Binge eating disorder is the most prevalent eating disorder in the United States, surpassing both anorexia and bulimia. But a small new pilot study suggests an experimental brain surgery could be a promising treatment. NBC News health and medical reporter Erica Edwards joins me now with a closer look at this. Erica, talk to us about this study. What did it find about your brain wiring and binge eating disorder and how they're connected? Hey, Vicki, yeah, this is really cool technology. So what they did was they implanted a pacemaker-like device just underneath the scalp and then wired it to very specific areas of the brain that control reward and appetite. Uh, and then when the patient feels the urge to binge eat, he or she would then wave a magnetic wand over that area over time. That device learns to identify when a person is at risk to binge eat and then sends small zaps, electrical signals to the brain to try to reduce those cravings. Now, the patients don't feel that zap, but <laughs> the study found that, um, you know, six months after uh, those devices were implanted and turned on, they felt more in control mm. over their food intake, and they had fewer binge eating episodes. Biggie? That is wild to think about waving a wand over your head to c communicate with something that's implanted in there. I think the big question here is brain surgery. Having this device in your, in your head is a serious approach. What are some other ways or things that people should try before considering a procedure like this to deal with binge eating? Yeah, well, that's, you, ra you raise a really good point. This is an experimental approach. This is an extreme approach to treat binge eating. Only two patients so far have actually had the surgery and they tried many other ways to control their binge eating through therapy, et cetera, mm -hmm. um, and had failed those, um, those approaches. Now, let's be clear again, this is not a cure. Mm -hmm. However, ex outside experts say that the, the, it's so promising that perhaps it could be the future in treating other disorders, ADHD, depression, even drug addiction. I've they got can... like 25 seconds. This is a study done on middle-aged overweight women. Is there a sense this might work in other <laughs> patient populations? Yeah, this is still early, only six patients involved so far, but you're right. Uh, the key question here is that this needs to be replicated in larger groups of people, mm -hmm. men, um, other ages, other mm -hmm. people of other, other ethnic backgrounds. So more to come, Vicki. All right, Erica Edwards, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.